Hi there, it's uh, Chris Howard, callsign 2E0 CTH here again. And this time I'm going to talk about the new UV3R Plus model from Baofeng. So, what I thought I'd do first is just to show a comparison of the range so far. So this one is the UV3R Mark 1. As you can see it's got a one line display with just the, or just the frequency on there. Then brought out the UV3R Mark 2, which um, as you can see from the screen there has got a two line display. Um, and basically well, they've got the, pretty much the same case, so you can see on the side and the front there that the two radios basically came in the same in the same case. Uh, they've now just brought out the EV3R Plus which they've actually redesigned the case for so you can see it actually looks a bit different. Uh, it's got the same buttons although it's got a slightly different layout of some of the buttons but it's basically got the same buttons uh, which I'll set you through. So basically and it's also got the same display as well as the uh, the Mark II, so it's got the two line display there, as you can see. Um, it's also got a different uh, aerial as well, so I'll quickly go through those. So, on the Mark One, it came with with two aerials, one for uh, VHF, one for UHF, which they've uh, when they brought out the Mark II, it came with a single band aerial, sorry, a single aerial for for both bands, which saves up in the aerials over. Um, the Mark Three is also sorry, not the Mark Three. The Plus has also got a single aerial for for both UHF and VHF. Um, it's actually got a different connector this time. So if you look on, if you just quickly unscrew that, and just quickly show you the connector now. Just zoom in a bit. You can see that it's got a, a different connector to the Mark One and the Mark Two. So I'll quickly show you on my Mark Two radio just to compare. It's actually got the opposite connector. You can see it's got the uh, the reverse of the, the the one on the Mark. Sorry, on the, the one on the um, the EV3R Plus, um, which actually is, makes it very similar to the one that's used on the um, the Wixon radios. So you can see there, that's the uh, get to shot. That's the new aerial connector there. It even showed you actually on the display. Sorry, on the bottom of the aerial there, the uh, the frequency ranges it works on. Um, another change is also on the back of the radio. It's now got a much improved um, belt clip. So on the back. I haven't, got, I haven't bothered to attach it to the old radio here, but basically the, the belt clip on the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 was pretty flimsy and didn't work very well. On the Mark on the EV3R Plus, um, the belt clip is actually much, it's now got a spring on it, it attaches with two screws. It's actually now pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy belt clip there, so I think that's a, a good improvement. Um, it does feel actually a bit more chunky and a bit better in your hands, it's very slightly thicker as I was saying earlier. Um, but it has got the same functions, so it's got the lights. One thing I have noticed on the on the plus is that the on the side of the radio, the uh, the function button is now below, sorry, above the PTT. On the old one, it's below. Also, on this side, you've now got a um, a different uh, speaker mic socket. So you've now got a, I believe it's a Kenwood uh, socket, so you can plug a a different type of speaker mic in the side there, rather than just with the the, the one jack. You've now got a, a two jack um, socket there. Um, on the back, we've now got uh, a ch for charging. We've now got these connectors here. So for charging, they, they now provide a, uh, a desk charger, and you actually just drop the charger into the into the so drop the radio into the charger there, and that will charge it. Um, makes it a bit easier. That's all. You haven't got to faff around uh, plugging things in the side of the radio. It's actually just um, on a, on a drop-in charger there. So I quite, I quite like that as well, actually. Apart from that, the functions of the radio are exactly the same as the uh, the EV3R Mark II. Um, to program it, uh, you use the same menus. If you go into menu, I'll quickly show you the different menus we've got there. Uh, there you go. So, I'll just zoom in a little bit. So you can see, basically, we've got the same 19 menus that were on the uh, EV3R Mark II. Um, I don't know how well you can see the screen there. That's about as good as it's going to get, I think. Um, it's got the same, exactly the same, uh, from what I can see, uh, set of menus there, and there are 19 like on the two, like on the Mark II. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, it's got the same, the same knob on top. Well, slightly, uh, it's very similar to the one on the Mark II and the Mark One, the knob on top, so it locks in place. Uh, so when you uh, you pull it out, turn it around, and then to lock it, you just push it back in place. Then you can't turn it, in, which makes things nice and secure. You don't change frequency or something by accident if you don't want to do that. Um, 
to do the programming it's basically the same as the Mark II um, I've got a different video on YouTube on how to do the programming if you want to watch that one that will take you through how to uh, the basic functionality how to operate it how to change frequencies how to uh, set repeater offsets and all that sort of stuff and also how to uh, how to save things memories as well so I won't bother doing that again here because it's basically the same as the, as the Mark II so um, that was it really just wanted to quickly show you the new the new model I quite like it I think they made some good improvements over the uh, the previous ones um, it seems to be a bit, a bit sturdier now the plastic I think is a bit thicker than, than, than and better quality than, than, than on the older model so uh, I quite like it so uh, that's it from me I'll see you on the next one